What's up guys? Welcome to this video where I'm going to tell you why you already know enough to be an expert and you don't need to feel bad that like, you know, you're not an expert or you don't know enough to make your own course because that's total nonsense. Everybody knows enough and I'm going to explain why in this video. Okay, before we get into that, if you guys like videos like this about marketing and you're following away with me, following along with me on the One Funnel Away Challenge, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting out a lot of videos about the One Funnel Away Challenge and building an online course uh, with ClickFunnels to, um, to sell as an information product. Okay. Um, also, go check out my fitness channel where I talk about like fitness and stuff like that. And if you haven't already signed up for the One Funnel Away Challenge, uh, then do that. You're going to go to, um, well, there's a link in the description, or you can just go to OFASystem.com, okay, uh, and sign up through that site. It's 100 bucks, and I will help coach you for 30 days on making your own course, and you also get a ton of other stuff as well, all right, if you haven't signed up for that already. All right, 30 days of video missions, 30 days of coaching, and all this other stuff. Okay, check that out on your own time. Now, um, a lot of people that I talk to have something called imposter syndrome. Now, I used to have this as well, but essentially what it means is that you feel like you really don't deserve your position or the amount of money you get paid or um, you just feel kind of like a, like a phony, like an imposter. Um, and this is something that everybody struggles with at every level of proficiency with pretty much anything. And you're probably going to experience it in the beginning when you're deciding whether or not you should sign up for this course or even when you're making your course, right? I can tell you from my experience, right? Like when I made my cold email course, I was very, I was like, I mean, I'm the type of person, like I just enjoy trying things even if I suck at it, like that's just me. But, and you know, I, I definitely know how to like send cold emails. I've sent like literally like millions at this point. But still, I thought to myself like, am I really the best at sending cold emails in the world? Right, like think about all the cold email courses out there. Is mine the best? No, of course not. It's definitely not the best, right? Like statistically speaking, absolutely not. Like I'm totally fine with saying that. Um, but that didn't stop me from making it and that didn't stop me from selling copies either, right? So you have to understand that just because you're not the best right now and you don't know more than God himself, like that's no reason to not start. And in fact, I'll give you another example, right? I used to sell hair straighteners in shopping malls. And this is a job that I had. It was like retail, it was like very aggressive sales, it was commission only. So you're out there like every single day grinding, doing demos, talking to people. And, you know, after doing this job for a while, you start to learn a little bit about the hair industry. And I learned that the products that we were selling, even though we were selling them for $250, $300 each, they were not the best products out there, right? They were not like, you know, they were like mid-range, right? They were like very basic. But still, we were selling hundreds, if not thousands of dollars of products every single day. Most of the time, if there's two or three people there, we're selling a couple grand in hair products every single day. Like we did like 20,000 a month in sales in that, in that industry is, is bad. That's like a bad month, right? Normally it's around 30, getting like a little bit warmer is around 40, and then the hot months like 50, 60, all things being equal. But the point is that regardless essentially of what you're selling and how good it is compared to everything else that's out there, you have to understand that when it's you and a customer and they are making that decision whether or not they're going to buy something, it's a very simple like yes and no black and white um, method of decision making that they're going through, right? They're going to think to themselves, does this solve my problem? If yes, then they will buy it, right? Because the money will be worth less to them than solving the actual problem, right? So you just have to keep that in mind and don't worry if like, and especially like, you know, the first course that you make, because look, let's, let's be real, like it's 2019, we live in a new world now and gone are the days where you could just like get up and, you know, go to your manufacturing job and make 60, 70 K a year and buy a house and like have your little 2.2 kids and your picket fence and like, you know, have your like perfect little life, right? You, you gotta think outside the box. And I personally believe that the way to do that, like, you know, my friends and I always joke, like you got it, once you get famous, like there's no, there's no broke famous people, right? Now it's not essentially, it's not really being famous for the sake of being famous. You have to be famous and be good at something. 
And the best way to do that is by selling your knowledge in the form of a course, right? Once you, once I started making videos, once I started like establishing myself as somebody who knows what they're talking about, and I'm really mainly referring to my fitness channel. Like my internet marketing channel is much smaller and has a lot more like activity on it. Um, like, but on my fitness channel, like, am I the most knowledgeable guy about fitness? Like, no, of course not. There's like tons of people who know more than me. I do know a lot, you know, and I'm comfortable giving my opinion and like feeling good about, you know, what I know. But am I like the most knowledgeable guy? And like, should somebody like all things being considered if they evaluate every single product out there, should they buy mine and not even consider anybody else's? No, of course not, right? But you have to understand that in this challenge, you're going to learn to create a course and more importantly, sell a course through a funnel that is going to um, teach you a very specific formula to kind of get the user to um, kind of fall in love with you and fall in love with the idea of what you're selling as long as they need it, right? Like I'm not gonna buy a course for like putting on makeup or something. That's, that has no appeal to me, but a lot of girls might buy that, right? Um, and, you know, I would probably buy a course for like maybe generating leads on LinkedIn, something I don't know how to do yet, but I'd like to know, you know, I might spend some money on that. Um, anyway, just to give you the, uh, an idea, like, don't worry if you're not, if you don't consider yourself an expert, because number one, you're not going to be like, this is not going to be like the last business you ever start, or the last funnel you ever make, or the last course you ever make. So don't worry about it. Okay. You're an expert. I wave my magic wand. You're an expert. All right. Cool. So go to the next lesson um, yeah also sorry if you're watching this on YouTube subscribe to my channel go check out my fitness channel links in the description if you haven't signed up for the one funnel away challenge yet do that at OFA system.com um, OFA system.com um, yeah and then we'll do it all right cool